Introducing the Enviro Solutions EnviroWash 800. Upon arrival, all necessary parts are inside the unit, so let's see how simple it is to set up. You will find two filter bags, two filter bag holders, outlet hose, roller cleaner, wash guns and hoses, stirring paddle, and a measuring cup. Attach the sludge filter box onto the protruding bolts and tighten with the supplied wing nuts. Insert the filter bags into the holder prior to use. It is best practice to pre-soak your filter bags in water when you first use the EnviroWash unit. You will then be able to use the bags as per instructions. Connect the filter box to the clear water filter assembly line. Attach the discharge hose to the outlet on the filter unit. Connect the water source to the system, remembering to check and tighten all spray hose connections. Remove the drain plug from the washout basin and you are ready to go. Note that the wash system can only be used with water-based paints. You may choose to drill some small holes in the four corners of the washout basin to allow for better wash water drainage. Wash your painting tools in the sink provided. Continue to wash your tools until water reaches the fill line. Once the water has reached the fill line, remove the sink from the unit. Use the stirring paddle to bring up any sediment from the bottom into the solution. Stir vigorously for 30 seconds. Add starter additive. Stir vigorously for one minute. Add finisher additive to the wastewater. Stir vigorously for one minute making sure that the stirring paddle reaches the bottom of the tank to ensure all treatment additives have been dissolved. Let the wastewater set for one minute and then re-stir. Here we can see the chemical reaction. Notice how quickly the paint solids are settling to the bottom of the tank. Full separation may occur in as little as two hours, however best results are achieved if left overnight. This is the clarity of the water achieved after treatment. The treated water is released by opening the clear water outlet. This allows treated water to flow out of the tank through the clear water filter to an approved authorized discharge point. Treated water can be released faster by using the Tsunami evacuation pump. To operate, connect the pump to any 12 volt battery and switch on. To remove the paint residue that is in the bottom of the unit, open the sludge release valve. The paint residue is pumped out into the sludge filter bag. Keep filling the sludge filter bags until all sludge has been filtered. Use the stirring paddle to move excess sludge towards the sludge outlet. Some sludge may be left in the bottom of the tank. This is normal. The system is now ready to accept more paint washings. Should the situation arise where the filter bags are full and there is still sludge to be pumped through, wait a few minutes for the water to drain out of the filter bags. This will create capacity for more sludge to be pumped in. Allow the sludge water to drain out of the filter bag for three to four hours. The sludge should look like a heavy paste once the filter bag has drained. Remove the bag and disperse the paint waste into a suitable container to harden. Water drains through the filter in a slow and steady stream. Filter bags can be rinsed and reused multiple times. It is recommended to keep your filter bags in a bucket of water between uses. Once hardened, dispose of the waste into normal solid waste refuse as per your local authority guidelines.